Welcome back to my Let's Play at the LDC number 24 contest loss. And yes, I have finally managed to solve 10x's Route 3 level. Yeah, it turns out that I did something incorrectly, which um, didn't uh, doesn't quite work out. And so, that's the reason why I, I haven't been successful with it, but I finally managed to do it off camera. So I'm ready to show off the solution to it. Well, maybe not show off, but rather manually recreate the solution on camera right now. And hopefully it won't take me too long. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play. Alright, here it is, Route 3 4, Emergency Evacuation. So yes, quite a nice level here. So as it turns out, yeah, I was doing the part with the laser incorrectly. So, let me see if I can figure out how to uh, recreate it though. So, I believe it is... Um, Essentially, I build right here, I think. And then... Um... Let me see. I think here... I'll probably start maybe right now. Yeah, it might be a little too early, but um... Let's see, though. Uh, no, I think it's fine. So... I assign a laser here. And because he is... Uh, doing it right in front of the teleporter. He's going to be teleporting over here and continuing his laser uh, power. And there we go. Yeah, unfortunately, the teleporter catches him just in time before he breaks through the ceiling here and releases this zombie horde. Now, the question is, did I uh, do this the timing correctly here? Oh, and here, it might help if I um, complete the bridge here. Or rather, seal off the gap. And yeah, this... I feel like it's like a bug or something because um, it honestly should not be doing this. Uh, and it looks very, very strange. I don't exactly remember if it's already been discussed and it was decided to remain or if it's still up for consideration to like just remove this graphical uh, weirdness. Yeah, because the laser is not going to be continuing this way. Instead, it's going to be continuing to the right since the lemming who was doing the lasering uh, was facing the right. So therefore, when he pops out, yeah, as you can see, he does that. Now, did I... Nope, so... I started building in the incorrect spot. So, maybe around there. Oh great, now I didn't check to see um, who was doing the building over here. Yeah, it might be him, but I... I might be a bit off though. Him. Nope, that's not quite right. So, I feel like it must be him then. Perfect. Now they survive. Okay. Now the rest of it is just due to timing now. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the first lemming around here. And then, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and block around here. And yes, uh, he does not see off the gap here. So, and then we're gonna go ahead and start mining. Okay, and hopefully I place the block correctly here. Alright, now we're gonna go release him, not that they're turning back to the right. And now, hopefully they should all 
escape the zombies that are coming right now. And fortunately here, uh, the zombies will still, um, they will uh, land on the other side, so therefore they will not come down here and, and cause more trouble. Yes, perfect. So, yes, there you go. That's the solution. So, it turns out that instead of lasering from this side that I've always been doing, it turns out that you need to laser right in front of the teleporter while it's still busy um, having another one pop out here. And fortunately, it is, this one is a somewhat fast churning one, so therefore, it stops the laser in time, just before he breaks through the ceiling. Yeah, and um, here, um, fortunately, the laser keeps on going. Yeah, since it does eventually hit the terrain. So yes, very, very nice puzzle here. So yeah, on their tail now, but they'll make it on time. Yes, very, very nice low here. I really, really like this one of 10 X's. So very nice job with this level and um, also in this tile set too. And I believe this is also the same one that Itch will use for his um, uh, Route 2 level. So, since that didn't take too long, yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is that I would like to um, show out the intended solutions to my um, own contest levels. Oh, yes. Um, you may have noticed here that the font here is different. So, recently there's a new Neolemics Neo update um, dropped, and uh, yes, along with some um, changes that were, that were made, yeah, uh, this resulted, yeah, in a font that seems a lot smaller now. Now, this is at the um, uh, default zoom. Well, I'm pretty much at the my laptop's native resolution here. And um, I've kept the uh, font size the same, 125%. And because of the um, new update, yeah, the font when the menus have changed. Uh, this is pretty much the font that I honestly don't like. Yeah, I honestly like the old one better, where it was bigger and much easier to read. Here, however, it's like too small. Um, however, uh, the new Linux developer, yeah, one of them, that is, yeah, Namida, he has said that um, um, I think he is open to uh, discussing where the font should be bigger, or rather can be bigger. So, um, yes, I think I will bring that up again because I would definitely love it to be bigger while not changing any other settings in my uh, on my laptop for Windows. Um, or yeah, if uh, if it is at all possible, I would also like the uh, normal font as well. Yeah, before this up, up update dropped, but it sounds like uh, that's not going to be happening since uh, I, I guess this was the result of uh, fixing some things. So um, in any case, yeah, that's not the main uh, thing that I want to talk about here. Is that like I said before, I would like to show out the, the intended solutions to my contest lows. So first up, we're going to start with this one. Um, so first up is rule one five, shimmy your lap rules. Um, so honestly, this sh this one should be um, I believe this one should be uh, right after Itchos, uh, but before King Shadows, yeah, because that's pretty much where I am in the alphabet to go order the authors that have submitted levels here. But in any case, yeah, I'm pretty much the last one for all the rules this time. Yeah, which honestly isn't too big of a problem, but um, it does feel a bit awkward, though. Yeah, since I am the um, out of uh, ABC order here. But anyway, yes, this is my rule one level. And this is, if I am not mistaken, in the BioLab tile set of Lemmings 3D. I think that's what it is. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites, considering that green is uh, my favorite color. And um, yes, so if you recall, uh, rule one is the rule that tells you uh, that you need to create a low using only one Neolemic skill and at least uh, two of the classic eight skills. So here, for my choice, I decided to, uh, to make a low uh, featuring the Shimmer. As a matter of fact, there used to be a different low in this position um, for this rule, actually. And that is the one... Oh, uh, well, I guess I'll talk to it when we get to that one. But anyway, uh, for the intended solution, um, you want the uh, Contus 24. And this would be uh, Rue 1-5, so which is this one? Okay, so here. Oh yes, and the track that you're listening to right now, this is found in the video game uh, Maui Mowler uh, in Cold Shadow. So basically, Maui Mowler is just another name for Donald Duck. So in other words, that video game features Donald Duck as the um, main character 
and Cold Shadow is just simply his ninja alter ego form. And I do believe a couple of um, the forum members are familiar with the game, but I'm not certain as to how many. And for that one, yeah, there's a PC version as well as the, uh, oh, what port was it? I think it's the Genesis version. And um, it seems nowadays when you try to search the game online, yeah, pretty much all searches will come up with the Genesis version, but not the PC version, which is the one that I grew up with. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, I believe it was a Christmas present from the wife of one of my dad's friends, who tragically passed away, oh, three years ago, I want to say? Yeah, so, um, quite some time, but um, um, it was pretty much a sad day for my dad, just because, yeah, for quite a while, uh, they'd just been meeting up every weekend, I believe, for many years, and then that, and then all of a sudden he passed, and, well, <laughs> he hasn't really had anyone to go out on a weekend since, I think. I mean, he still has a plenty of friends here, uh, but um, yeah, they haven't been as frequent, mostly because of his retired life and also due to his, um, uh, well, not due to his, uh, due to the pandemic, I should say. But anyway, yeah, enough rambling for me. So the first thing you're going to do is that, or at least in my solution, yeah, the first something that turns back to the left, I haven't built. This is important, and you'll see why. Because essentially, as it is right now, uh, there is pretty much no escape from here unless you use a builder. Because in essence, if you try bashing either to the left or to the right first, essentially what's going to happen is that you're going to be ending up in this pit here, or you end up in the water. So therefore, the only way out, yeah, especially since you're not given a climber as well, is that you need to use a builder staircase. And here's the reason why. Because uh, in this way, um, you can send a shimmer over to the left. And now because of this builder staircase, yeah, now you can send someone out to the right this way. Without the Builder Staircase, yeah, there is no way for you to get a Shimmer over in either direction. Yeah, the Builder just ends up high enough, just barely high enough, so that you can start shimming in either direction. So yes, this is exactly what I wanted to force here. This backwards Builder trick, which is, which I pretty much refer to the Dolly Dimple uh, Builder trick. Because that's uh, one of the solutions, or at least what we think is the intended solutions, uh, solution that the developers of Oh No More Lemmings uh, wanted. But it unfortunately has an, an alternative solution, which I first learned, yeah, before learning this trick here. So anyway, yes, that's this is one of the tricks that I wanted to enforce. Um, yeah, originally, um, this level could have just survived one version only, but because due to a uh, design error on my part, where I placed the I misplaced uh, the uh, terrain here, so that it was possible to indeed. Uh, bash over here um, and not fall into the pit here so that was my error and uh, not only that yet uh, I also didn't realize that um, sending the crowd over to the left here was possible so therefore a patch was needed here and as a result these two traps which weren't weren't in, in the original version are now here so yes anyway yeah so one shimmer goes to the left the another shimmer goes up here. Well, technically two, but uh, I'll be sending this other one later. So the first one that gets up here after he has walked for a bit will start digging. In the meantime, yeah, the shimmy mirror that uh, made his way up here, he needs to shimmy across, otherwise he's going to walk into the traps. Yes. So uh, at the very end, he drops just past the trigger point here. So as you can see, yes, and just a bit of leeway there. Yeah, he lands down safely while spotting. And now when he drops down here, we're going to go ahead and build. Uh, yes, and at this time, i go ahead and send another Shimmer now. Yeah, basically the important thing is that we need another Lemming to turn around inside the Bastard Tunnel, so that he can mine the uh, crowd out. So here he comes now. And yes, I also added some more terrain here as well, so that it it is not possible to simply mine yeah, underneath the first trap trigger. Okay, so the basher is done. Now he's going to make his way up to the top here. So this is almost um, reminding me of my uh, Wu-1 level from the previous contest. Yeah, because I, I essentially did a similar structure here. Only I took this level a bit further and uh, made some parts a bit different after that. Okay, so once he gets to the top, we're going to go ahead and give him a shimmer. So now he's going to go all the way to over here and drop down here. Yeah, and again, this is a safe ball. 
Yep, essentially, especially since this is pretty much at the same level, and these are also about the same level as well. Oh, it's actually a bit lower, but, um, um, I think I could have, uh, made it a bit more, um, level with it. As a matter of fact, I might even fix that too, but, um, uh, but in any case, it doesn't really break the low. So yes, the miner just finished, yeah, so the crowd can now uh, walk up the same way this Shamir did. Okay. And then, now there's all there's left to do is to dig this uh, pillar away. Yeah, essentially we need to um, clear the way for the crowd here. And then once he has broken through, yeah, then you can cancel him with the Shamir. Yeah, like that. Yeah, but certain. well, actually, yeah, I mean, you pretty much can keep on going, at least the way I place the digger. But you got to make sure that you cancel him before he breaks the um, builder staircase as well. And the most important thing to realize here is that if you attempt to um, um, build from the right side, you will always end up a pixel short of reaching the exit. So that's the thing to realize. That will not work. Um, so therefore, the only way for to get the crowd to the exit is to build from the left side. So. Along with some red herrings that I drew in here, yes, you have to make these key realizations, or you're not going to get you're not going to get this level solved. And uh, from what I have seen so far, so far um, there have been two members who have um, said that they have liked my Route One low a lot. And I was like, oh wow, yeah, I'm actually amazed that 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 I have pleased some people with this. And one even commented on the um, visual um, side of things here. And he said that that um, he has noticed me improving in it. And honestly, yeah, that was quite a nice comp compliment because um, I have never been much of an artist, and I still am not. Yeah. Um, so because of that, I don't think I can ever like compete with the uh, members here on the visual side of things, the visual and artistic side. But yeah, uh, I guess certainly get better at it. But um, honestly, I still don't think I will ever top them in terms of um, artistic and visual qualities in levels. We're making them that is but yes um, that is um, one of the nicest things I've ever heard from, from someone say about my level um, so I'm very happy about that and um, yes this this level so far seems to be very well liked um, even though there's only been two people who have played in it so far so yes that is my route 1 level now for my route 2 level so route 2 8 Guide to Clone Survival in the Jungle. Yes, I I admit that title is uh, not the most um, innovative, but, um, well, when it comes to low titles, yeah, I definitely struggle a lot with naming my lows. Um, but in any case, for this low, yes, this was an absolute nightmare to patch. Yeah, this ended up taking 10 versions, believe it or not. So it was definitely reminding me of my Route 3 from um, LDC number 22. Except that one was for my... Yeah, I already said that. It was for my Route 3. This time, however, is for my Route 2. And yes, every version after a while, it just kept frust getting uh, frustrating, frustrating yeah, every time to like, fix it up. Yeah. In some cases, yeah, I had to take a very long time to think about how I wanted to patch it up. And what fixes I wanted to apply. And um, yeah, a lot of them yeah, involved just... After a certain point, just adding more terrain, yeah, just to make sure that um, to block off any unintended solutions. But I unfortunately failed in one um, aspect of it spectacularly, which is uh, preventing a player from setting up a climber on the very far uh, left side. And so, for a very long time, I did not want to make this uh, these blockers and the bombers pickups because I felt like the solution would be way too obvious then. However, the one person who has managed to solve this low, uh, Amani, yeah, he said that the solution is still pretty difficult uh, to find, despite the pickups that I put into the low. So I was like, oh, really? Oh, I'm actually surprised to hear that. So maybe I did not make it that much more obvious. Of course, I could have prevented all those updates, yeah, simply by putting a button or even some pickups in this area here. But I said, no, no, no. That's going to make it way too obvious that you need to send someone down there. So, in other words, I wanted to leave this area over here as a complete red herring. So that if you try to send a lemming up there, yeah, you, you will always end up at least a skill short. And so, 
a lot of the changes that were made in this era here, yeah, they were just pretty much in an attempt to um, make players see so that um, you will always, always end up short, yeah, if you try to send a lemming up here. So for 10 versions, I failed to do that. And then um, just recently, Amani just uh, solved the most recent one, or rather resolved the most recent one. And yes, it my the intended solution finally seems to be forced. Thank goodness. Yeah, I was getting really, really frustrated. Yeah, in uh, in the uh, uh, all the fixes that I need to apply. All right. So whereas for this uh, music, this music is found from the video game Bob Menace. Yeah, and this is uh, the music that plays on the third level of that game. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to send up a climber. In this case, I don't think it really matters which let me make a climber. But, at least in my solution, yeah, I've always known the solution to always work. Uh, whenever sending up the first lemming as a climber. So he collects the cone to pick up, and then we're going to go ahead and start mining. Oh yes, and then after a while, yeah, I'm going to clone the miner. So really, yeah, I really, really wanted to, in the uh, uh, fixes that I kept applying to this low, I was really trying to uh, stop a mining from sending someone up here. Because again, like I said, this is a complete red herring. Um, instead, have him clone the miner so that the miner ends up in here. Uh, and he recently um, told me that he always thought that this was an visual or design error on my part. I said, no, no, Amani, it is not an error at all. Yeah, this was what I intended. Yeah, I really wanted to get the player to clone the miner so that he, the miner stops in here. But, like I said, I failed spectacularly in that regard for 10 versions. Alrighty. So that releases the crowd. And then here, yeah, there's a, a trap trigger that we need to avoid here. So, to stop that from happening, the lizard from eating the lemmings, we go ahead and bash. So now, they avoid this trigger area here. In the meantime, the climber goes up, collects another clone to pick up. And then before the grass flying trap, we're going to go ahead and dig down. So, in an earlier version, yeah, it was possible to simply, like, bash through. So, to prevent that from happening, yeah, I needed to put some one-way arrows in. And this was also another trick that I failed to um, patch up properly until I added the uh, grass vine trap and also the button here. So, once we get low enough, then we're going to go ahead and bash and then clone the basher. Yeah, so to release the crowd. So then the climber goes on ahead, the original climber, goes on ahead to collect the uh, three build up, the three blocker pickups, and also three more clone pickups. And this is another trick that I wanted to force as well. Build, and then clone three times after the builder has laid a, a brick. Yeah, in order to create an impassable wall, in other words, a builder wall, to turn everyone around. So this will prevent anyone from walking into the... Um, the vine swamp. So yes, like I said, I failed to um, enforce this trick completely until I have added this button and this grass vine trap. There was definitely seemed to be no other way to do so, because as you can simply use a builder somewhere else. Yeah, in other solutions, for example, Armani uh, used a builder up here. Yeah, to turn the lemming around. Yeah, to do some other uh, things around here. I said, nope, can't have that. Because again, like I said, I wanted to stop the player from um, sending up lemming up the far left side. Yeah, because it is a complete red herring, but I still wanted to leave it in, just in case. So that uh, if the player attempts that, yeah, they, they should see that you always end up short and can't solve the low that way. So yes, the builder just makes it over at the very final builder step. Because even the uh, on the 11th break, you'll just end up in the swamp and drown. And then, as for here, yes, I know this is a little bit tight, but, yeah, there is possible to leave a couple of pixels leeway here. So yes, we get uh, two bombing pickups now, and then we're going to go ahead go ahead and block here. Okay, and now, with these three climbers that we have, that are pretty much in the line to go, we're going to go ahead and bash with the second climber. Yeah, while one climber goes on ahead. Yeah, this is very, very important, because we need at least one climber to get up here. Or rather, only one climber to get up there. Yeah, because if we, if other climbers are allowed to follow him, yes, 
some of the other ones will die to the uh, vine chops that I added. And then, yeah, here's another uh, dangerous um, area. Because if we don't do anything, they're just going to walk off and fall down here and spot. So therefore, to prevent that, we're going to go ahead and, and bash. And then, just after pushing the button, we're going to go ahead and block here. Okay, and here is another trick that I want to enforce as well. So, around here. Yeah, this is pretty much around the only area that you can do it in. Yeah, you need to block here. And then, with a nearby let me bomb so that the blocker becomes free. And then, it also leaves the um, staircase intact so that the lemmings can step up. Yeah, this is important because, again, since you use the builder here, you won't be able to get up here later. So now we, um, well, what was that? A clone to pick up. Okay, and then we walk towards the two basher pickups here. Okay, so after you let at least one lemming pass so that we can get to this button. Yeah, so then another trick that I want to force here is bash and then clone him. Because essentially at this point, you only have one basher, and you still need to get this button over here, which you can only reach with, with a basher. So therefore, uh, to make up for the basher so shortage here, yeah, you need to bash and clone. Yep, and then once again, after you have that at least one lemming pass, then you go ahead and bash here, so that you get to this button. Okay, so with this button push, that's the last one. Yeah, it unlocks the exit, and... It does it just in time before um, this lemon reaches this area here. Because again, you cannot allow him to pass, otherwise he'll just walk into the grass vine trap. So the final trick that I wanted to force here is to bomb underneath so that you release the blocker. And that's it. So, with these three tricks, yeah, uh, Armani has told me that this low is definitely my hardest. Um, and it definitely should be because of those tricks required. Yeah, as they are not very easy to see at all. In particular, this one is pretty hard to see, as, as, he, has as he has told me. Uh, the other two aren't as difficult to see, but uh, yeah, it can take some time to realize it, I would think. But I will also wait for further feedback from other people who attempt this though. But um, maybe, just maybe, I speculate that um, there hasn't been that many people attempting it, just because it might be the difficulty that's putting them off. And quite honestly, yeah, just like the other previous two contests, I still feel my lows are still relatively easy compared to the other lows in the contests. Yeah, it's not that I'm not saying that my lows are easy. Yeah, because they're still pretty difficult. But compared to, relatively speaking, to the other levels, yeah, I still feel mine are um, easier than them. Yeah, because quite honestly, I think I have yet to reach the. Um, my lows have yet to reach the difficulty of um, the um, the of the grades here. Yeah. So particularly Itcho and um, Nepster and Mani. Yeah. As those three seem to be the big ones here. Uh, but in any case, yeah, I think one of these days I will get there. But um, uh, I guess for the time being, my lows are still pretty up there in in the difficulty. Just not to the low of those three that I've uh, that I mentioned. Uh, oh yes, and now it's a good time to uh, point out that um, this this is the level that I originally made for the uh, Route 1 level. Or, or rather, for, the, for Route 1. Yeah, because here, as you can see, the, my Neo Lemix uh, skill of choice here is the Cloner. However, at the same time, because of the way the level is built, yeah, I also realized, oh, this can also work as a Route 2 level. Because this is, this is at least 200,000 pixels. I don't quite remember the uh, dimensions right now, though. I think it is like 800 and either 400 or 600 for the other dimension. Yeah, and that's definitely at least 200,000. Yeah, if you multiply those two numbers together, the 800 and the other one. Yeah, which is which is 400, 600. But honestly, I don't remember what it is right now. Eh, it might be more than that actually. It might be more than 400. Yeah, it could be 600, but I honestly don't remember right now. But I do know it is at least 200,000. I made, I made sure of it. So yes, like I said, I originally wanted this to be the Route 1 level. Um, but then I was like, oh wait, I can definitely make this work as a um, Route 2 level. Yeah, because it is big enough. Yeah, and it certainly uses most of the level. Yeah, pretty much the only areas that, the area that you don't use is this area right here. Yeah, only a small part of it. 
Yeah, as everything else will just lead you into a trap. Or uh, you just end up using too many skills, so you do so. But anyway, yes, this is the, sol the antenna solution to my um, R2 low. Very, very difficult to enforce. Yeah, and it took me 10 versions to do so. And as much as I hate it, Needed to use the uh, to make the blocker and the bombers pickups. Yeah, I unfortunately had to go there because I honestly don't think there was any other way to um, salvage the solution, or rather, uh, make the intended solution work without doing so. And again, like I said, I avoided doing that because I thought the solution would become way too obvious then. But no, Amani told me otherwise. Yeah, that the solution is still very hard to find. Yeah, despite the pickups. So this is definitely where feedback is good for the uh, lower creator. Because honestly, uh, it is very, very difficult to judge the difficulty of your own levels. Alrighty, so th with that root 2, now we go to my root 3 level. Which is... Uh, root 3, 6. Not the annoying gap in the floor again. And, uh, yes. Um, basically, when naming this level, yeah, we were... We needed to put the contest and the rule uh, from for which uh, the rule satisfies. So in this case, yeah, the rule uh, for this law, um, it is from contest alone and satisf satisf ah, satisf satisfies rule three. Yeah, for that contest. And basically the rule there was make a law with no constructor skills. In other words, no builders, platformers, or stackers. And as for this law, yeah, this one is open-ended. This would be the very first level that I've ever made that is open-ended. Yeah, in other words, there is no uh, specific intended solution for it. So instead, it's just simply a solve in any way you can level. And here, I decided to uh, make it a four of everything skill set. Well, originally, it was a five of everything. But according to feedback that I got from Imani, yeah, he told me that uh, if I ever do uh, release an update, yeah, that I can uh, make it a four of everything. So in this way, it reduces the um, uh, degrees of freedom in which you can go about solving the law. But at the same time, it doesn't make the skill set too restrictive. And I say, oh yes, uh, you're absolutely right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so that's why it's a four of everything skill set. And I also have to suspect that it is possible with a three of everything. But uh, again, I don't want to make the skill set too tight. So therefore, I decided to just leave it as a four of everything. Again, I think it's possible, but I'm not sure though. So the first thing I do is I uh, make the first time out of this entrance a blocker. Yeah, there are three other entrances up here. Yeah, one in each of their own sections here, and then one about in the middle. Yeah, around where the um, the bond entrance down here is. Yeah, in terms of the um, um, horizontal position. So yes, um, and then next lemming comes out here, and then the other lemmings will come out of the other two uh, side entrances. And yes, next time I'm out here, I stand up as a climber. And then, yeah, just before the trap trigger, I go ahead and dig. And then I um, cancel with a ship here. Okay, and then I also send up another climber at this time for this entrance. So yes, uh, pretty much the other lemmings from the, this entrance will collect with the others over here. Okay, same thing here. Before the trap trigger, we go ahead and dig. Or rather, I dig. Because again, there is no specific antenna solution here. And then, at this time, I go ahead and send up another climber from this um, entrance. And then here, in my solution, I go ahead and mine. Yeah, and then I also turn this uh, lemming around yeah, with a walker. So that I can mine this, um, these two uh, lemmings free. Yeah, and here we need to save everyone. So eventually, at some point, I will release the blocker with a walker. Okay, and then at the end of this miner, I go ahead and block so that I turn him around. Um, okay, yeah, I didn't do anything else in the meantime here. Okay, and then once the miner is low enough, then I go ahead and cancel him with a jumper. And then I also release the blocker with a walker at this time. Okay, and then at this time, I go ahead and bash this blocker free. And I do it in such a way so that he still goes on ahead. Yeah, as he needs to um, do some uh, work here. And 
then here I go ahead and dig before the drop trigger. Okay, and then I go ahead and cancel him with a shimmer. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, yeah, this comes pretty close before he gets snatched by the untrap um, trigger. Uh, but yes, it is low enough so that he avoids it. And then, like I said, I cancel with the shimmer. Now, it might be best if I zoom out here. So, with one of the landings here, I go ahead and jump. And then I dig down here. Yeah, I dig low enough so that these others can step up. Yeah, there's a little hole here in which they can use to step up in there. And then once that happens, I go ahead and bash. Okay, looks like I don't bash with them yet. Okay, yes, yeah, so around here I cancel mid struck with a Shimmer. Again, you have some skill canceling um, skills that you can use. You have a variety, so um, it doesn't have to be a, sh a uh, Shimmer, for example. So, yes, at this time I go ahead and start bashing. Yeah, and this is pretty much uh, thin enough so that these guys can walk up into the um, basher tunnel. Okay, and then here, I cancel with Jumper and Bash. And then cancel with a Shimmer. Okay, so I don't start back. Uh, use the final skill yet here. Uh, what do I do? Wait, where did I go, Jumper? Oh, that's weird. I don't know why I used the Jumper there. Okay, so I mine here. Yes, and then I, um, what do you call it, um, mine and then quickly cancel with a jumper. No, a jumper? No, I'm sorry, with, um, with, um, um, a walker. So, yes, I could have had a jumper left over. Yeah, I don't know why I cast a, a, a cast, um, assign a jumper there. Okay, so this is my solution. Uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and have the low finish here. And then here, I think I would also like to show off another solution that another uh, forum member found. And let me see if I can find this one. Let me see. This is root 36. Uh, Got to check the uh, timestamp here. So, yes, this is the most recent one. So, this one is one of Amani's solution. So he sends up a climber here. Yeah, and maybe I should zoom out here. Okay, and then uh, he sends up another uh, another climber here. Okay, and then he mines me for the trap here. Okay, and then he digs down here release this uh, crowd but as you saw in my solution yeah I don't do that but here yeah like I said this is an open-ended low so therefore you saw it any way you can and then here the next time it comes out this entrance is a blocker okay and then he turns this climber around with a walker who will mine these uh, guys free and then dig before the trap trigger here Okay, dig before the trap here, and then cancel with a shimmer, so very similar to what I did. Okay, and with a clever usage of a jumper instead, yeah, he jumps over the 10 ton trap, turns him around with a walker, and then mines. Okay, and he also manages to use the miner to free the blocker as well, therefore saving him a walker. And then here he cancels with a shimmer. So pretty much the thing that I wanted to enforce here is um, getting these guys to go up uh, this side over here. Yeah, just as long as the player does this, then everything else I don't care what you do. Uh, you can just solve it any way you can. But you absolutely need to use this to get up. Yeah, and the reason for that is because there is a tiny 
uh, an ever so inconvenient uh, gap here, in which you cannot um, get lemmings over to the other side by going this way at the uh, very start. Oh, and also not the annoying gap in the floor again. Yeah, that low title is a reference to one of um, who who is that? I think it's Insane Steve's. Yeah, because he has a low called uh, like the annoying one pixel gap or something like that. And um, it's pretty much the exact same thing in that. And the reason for it being called that is because, yeah, in his level, yeah, there's a gap right before the exit. Yeah, and the entrance is right where both the gap and the exit are. And the reason for that is because if you provide even just one builder on that low, yeah, then the low will be an automatic solve. Because all you just have to do is build over that one pixel gap, and that's it. Yeah, then they can get to the exit. So... Uh, as we know, yeah, a lot of levels in, in the game are not going to be that easy. So therefore, it's a level without builders. And I believe it is in X of everything, except for builders, which you don't have any. So, I decided to make a level that's, that pretty much references that in the title. Yeah, and pretty much have a very similar uh, level design. In that there is a gap in the floor. Well, it's not really on the floor, since um, it is kind of uh, mid-air. So I guess technically my level title doesn't really make sense, but well, um, <laughs> um, it can still work, right? Uh, but in any case, like I said, yeah, similar idea, except, yeah, here, rather than um, making your way through a really tall wall all around the, um, um, in the low and around the exit and stuff, yeah, it's just pretty much a similar idea, and that you need to find some other way around that gap. Because, again, you don't have any builders or any constructive skills. And that's exactly what the rule is here. For this contest that I've um, made a low for. Yeah, it's making a low with no constructive skills. And just to let you guys know. Yeah, uh, builderless lows are uh, one of my favorite types of lows in the game. Yeah, I really, really love lows that where you're not even given any builders. Okay, and then he cancels his miner with a shimmer. Okay, I believe the rest of it is just time skipping. It's going to be a long while before he does anything else here. Okay, so what the climber gets here, yeah, he waited for a climber instead. So he bashes with him. Okay, and then with the other climber that turns around and the bash on down, he goes ahead, he goes ahead and mines the crowd free here. Okay, and then. Here he... Oh wait, hold on. Cancels with a walker. And then bashes. And then cancels with a shimmer. I think it's a... No, it's a jumper, sorry. Okay, and then bash again. And then cancel with a shimmer. And that's it, yeah. This happens to be thin enough in order to get them free. So here, yeah, Amani's solution ended up being far more uh, efficient than mine. Where he ends up saving way more skills than I did. But again, like I said, I am not too bothered by um, blocking out any specific solution. Because again, it's just a solve it in any way you like. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the first of my open and the lows that I've ever made. Yeah, because pretty much all, all the lows I have made, I had one specific solution in mind. Here, I do not have one. So therefore, again, if you ever decide to play this low, you can solve it any way you like. Yeah, unless uh, you find a way to like get around uh, getting the lemmings up this side. Yeah, then I will unfortunately have to block your solution. But, as long as you use this part to get up the low, uh, then um, any, anything goes here. And then the last thing I need to point out is that for this music track, this is found in the game uh, Tyrion. Yeah, which was a really fun game that my brother and I grew up with. Yeah, I was only elementary at the time. And I don't exactly remember how uh, I got into the game, but I think I remember it being uh, one of my uncles, he had it on his computer or something, and so uh, ever since I first started playing it, I really look forward to um, coming over to his um, apartment, yeah, to like play it, yeah, whenever I got the chance. So I was really, really um, into this game, yeah, when as a kid, and there's really a lot of great tracks in, in this game as well. So this is one of them. Yeah, this is found in a, um, or rather, the music, the music track here is found in one of the lows. Yeah, it's called Sabara or something like that. 
So yes, there you go. So the only skill that Amani ended up using all of here are the miners. Yeah, here I used way more skills. Yeah, and didn't have that many skills left over. But again, it's just like I said, you solve it any way you like. Yeah, as long as you use the uh, right side to get up the low. Yeah, then I'm not bothering with blocking your um, solution at all. Okay, so that was all of my lows. And so, um, I think uh, what I'm going to be doing now is that I will essentially just be um, resolving updated lows. Yeah, where my solution was unfortunately a back route. And um, I think I will wait for at least a week yeah, before doing so. Because I really need a break from these contest lows. And so therefore, yeah, I'm just going to allow myself some time before I come back and resolve the lows. Um, and also, this upcoming week will be quite busy for me as um, it is close to Thanksgiving here in the USA. And um, I will also be uh, spending some of it with my brother who will be on, in town in a couple of days. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my solution to 10x's uh, root 3 as well as the Nintendo solutions to my contest lows. And I'll see you all around for when I return to um, um, resolve updated lows and uh, do one final video doing so. Peace out.